ورسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم يقول كل بدعة ضلالة What advice can be given to groups of sisters who want to put themselves forward at the forefront of giving da'wah, especially when they're single, and those who advise other sisters to travel to places like Egypt to learn Arabic alone, to travel alone, to learn Arabic and knowledge. And my advice is, my sisters, I'm not saying you have no, you know, there is nothing for you in the field of da'wah. Of course there is. But don't put yourselves forward in the field of da'wah. Really, the place of the woman, you know, as much as it may be politically incorrect in our times, the place of the woman is in the home as a mother and educator and cultivator of the next generation. And that is the greatest of responsibilities that Allah has pl placed upon the shoulders of our women folk. Mothers, they are the mothers of prophets. They are the mothers of scholars. They are the mothers of the righteous and the pious. Those mothers didn't have a role. Those mothers didn't do anything for the cultivation of their children. If you leave that mighty responsibility, and then you say, well, actually, I'm going to do something else instead. I'm going to remain single and active in the field of da'wah. No, get married, sister. Get married, seek knowledge, no problem. But your prime role is in the house. Cultivation of the house, responsibilities in the house, Cultivating the children, teaching the children, raising the next generation. That is the role of the mother and the father, of course. But that initial nurturing is for the mother. Our daughters should not be getting married to men and they don't know their way around the kitchen. Don't gasp. I know we're living in times where all of that is unfashionable now. My daughter, she's going to learn how to cook. Why doesn't he learn how to cook? Actually, having said that, Yes, I do. My boys, I do teach them to cook. Well, I don't teach them to cook, but they've learned to cook. No harm in the men cooking because you may have to cook. All right? But the mother should know how to cook. The daughter should know how to cook. They should know about the, be, be domesticated in the house. When I was growing up, there was a subject at school. They used to call it what? Domestic science or home economics. All right? Of course, all of that is unfashionable, right? That was in Britain. They, they called it home economics. Then they changed it. They said, no, it does home economics, you know, because it was for girls, right? Then they said, no, we're going to change to domestic science, make it sound a bit more snazzy, because it's a science now, domestic science, meaning the household duties. But actually, domestic science and, and home economics is something that is important to cultivate our daughters upon. And women folk, the da'wah is in the masajid. Barakallahu feekum. We have masajid, we have marakid, we have durus. Sisters, this is where the durus are. You want, you want to study? You want to hear the voices of the scholars and the books of the scholars in Mirath Radio, walillahi alhamd, very active in propagating the durus, live broadcast on radio. Sit in your houses, my sisters, and study. If you have a Twitter account, no harm. If you have a Twitter account, good, because then you can read the benefits from the scholars and from the students of knowledge, no harm. You can retweet. But there's no need now to start up your own organizations. Whatever I mentioned before about those shell organizations, don't fall into the same trap. Don't fall into the same trap. We don't need organizations of sisters. It's hard enough coping with this cyber, you know, this cyber phenomenon now of the one man behind his computer. We don't need women behind that also. We don't need that. If you want to give da'wah to a sister, you want to study a book in your house, you want to memorize a matan or some matun or Quran, and the sister comes to your house and you want to study and study together, la, that's be here, it's good. You and her sit down, maybe three of you sit down, You study together, you come back next week or a few days later and you test each other. This is good. But as for setting up dawah organizations and dawah groups, I do not advise that. I do not advise that. Because the, the fact remains that the information from the ulama, sometimes you make mistakes because you don't have direct access in the durus of the mashayikh. I and mean, then that's just reality. That's just reality. You can study, you can learn, and you can phone mashayikh and ahlul ilm. If you, have, you know, if you have access and they will answer the calls, no harm. But in reality, sometimes there may be something that you do, you may slip up and you may make an error. And you don't really want to be in the firing line of anything. The women folk, we don't want you to put you in the firing line of, line of anything that you become criticized and your husband becomes angry that his wife was criticized. So better not to be in that line of fire anyway. Be hidden. Be pious. Keep yourself busy. Seek knowledge. Memorize. But your greatest duty is in the home. Keep the house organized. 
Be dutiful to your husband. Look after your mother-in-law and your father-in-law. Look after your own mother and father. Cultivate your children. Be good with the other sisters. Benefit yourselves. This is why I advise my sisters. Barakallahu feekum. Wa jazakumullahu khairan. Walhamdulillahi rabbil alameen. Wa sallallahu ala nabina Muhammad. Wa ala alihi wa sahbihi ajma'een.